Okay, and then I'm gonna flip my camera to my desk, so you guys can see. All right, and best thing I would do if I were you guys is that I would make my screen larger. So if you wanna click on my hand and click on the pin icon, you can uh, make me large on your screen. So I highly suggest you do that so you don't miss anything, okay? So make sure you guys pin me and we'll get started right away. All right, so over here, I have the art workbook. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you guys put your name on the front, just like this. And then let's go over what we went over last week. And if you missed last week, the, there is a recap video on the Google Classroom, so here we go. What we talked about was the elements of art, which is line, shape, and form, and then color, texture, space, and value. We went over those. And then on the blank sheet right here, we went over every single one of them with different examples. If we flip it, we did go over the principles of design as well. So all we did was talk to, talked about the pattern, emphasis, variety, unity and balance, rhythm of movement, and proportion. And my example was proportion for your class, I believe. I did. Uh, make sure you guys keep your microphones off, guys. And then on the next page, I do want you guys to skip this one. Okay, so it says, let, uh, I can learn lettering. Don't do it quite yet. I want you guys to skip to this page where it says bubble lettering, okay? Skip to this page where it says bubble lettering. I did do it with the other class, so I'm just going to cover this up. And again, if you don't have the workbook, a blank sheet of paper will work just as fine. All right, so what you're supposed to see is the A, B, C, D, E over here, and you should have a variety of blocks down here, a total of five, I believe. Okay, so let me just divide my paper up so I can mimic what you have on your worksheet. And you should have another set of blocks down here. And again, if you have no workbook, a blank sheet of paper like mine works perfectly. All right, okay. It does have a couple steps, so let's just read on what it says. It says, bubble letters have round ends, kind of like your letter was made out of a bubble. And it says, let's practice. So there is three steps. Let's read ahead first. Lightly draw a large letter. And it says, draw all the way around the letter and inside. And then look at step number three. Step number three says, erase the original letter. I'm glad I read step number three because if you drew it in marker first or a pen, you won't be able to erase. So this is where I say it's optional for number three. It's optional to erase. So if you don't want to erase the inside later, you don't have to. But for me, I do want to. So I'm going to do pencil first. So I'm going to copy what they did over here. They did the letter A. OK. Letter B. So if you want to follow along, you can do it right now. And then letter C. Followed by D and E. There we go. Now, step number two, it does say draw all the way around the letter and inside and make sure you have rounded ends, okay? And it does say do the inside as well, but there's only three letters here that can do the inside. I'll explain those later. So what I'm gonna do, I'm pick a random marker, and then I'm gonna outline every single one of these letters with round ends. So here's a round end on the A, a second round end, and a third round end. I'm gonna do the B, round corners, like so. The C, round corners, make sure I don't have any blocky corners like that. The D, right here. And then finally, the E. Now, if you do look at that step number two, it does say that you have to draw all the way around the outside and the inside. The only inside you need to worry about is the A, the B, and the D, okay? Once you're done with those letters, step number three says erase the original letter. However, that's not possible if you did it in marker first or pen first. So if you don't want to erase it, you don't have to, like how they kept it on. But for me, since I did it in pencil, I can erase it. So I can erase the step number one I did. So now I can see the full bubble letter, and it looks really good. Just like so. Okay, um, now before I move on to the next step, I didn't tell the previous class this next part, but if you do want to make it more advanced, I'm going to show you guys a quick trick. 
if you just do like a kind of a bent rectangle in a, in a random spot where it curves like this, so over here on the D, if I just do a bent rectangle like this, it kind of symbolizes a shine on the letter. So if you want to really make it like a bubble letter, you can kind of do that. So I'm just adding random bent rectangles or just a regular rectangle like that. And it kind of gives it like a more of a bubble feel to it, kind of like that. Now, it does say in the bottom, now draw part of your name. If you don't want to do part of your name, you don't have to. If you want, you could do a five-letter word of your choice down here below, okay? So basically, this is asking you to just do any five-letter word or less on your own down here, okay? I tried to do the word orange last class, and I just realized that I only had six letters, so that's my fault. So again, you can do any word you want. Let me try another word. I picked the word music. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to outline that using the bubble technique, making sure that my letters have round ends like so. If you have a different way how to do bubble letters, you can do that as well. And the cool thing about the word that I chose is that I don't have to do any inside letters. They all are good with just doing the outside uh, outlining. That's it. So if I want for step number three, all I can do now is erase. And then my bubble letters should be good to go. All right, so this part of the worksheet is completely done. Now, I only have six minutes left with you guys. Let me just briefly go over what you are going to do, the pages that we just skipped. Okay, so you are allowed to use either this page right here, or you can use the previous page right here, okay? And then what you're gonna do, using these examples over here where it says, I can learn lettering, there's a bunch of examples over here using different types of lettering. If you wanna do bubble letters, I want you guys to do it on the blank sheet, either here or here. Or you can try to copy one of the other ones that they have over here. So I copied um, this smile one over here, last class. And then instead of doing smile, I did the word love inside a heart. The reason why I did it for you guys is because it kind of reminded me of a project that we did last year with the character words, with the weighty lines, and we put words in them, the character words. That's why I like this project right here. Um, you can kind of do blocky letters, how we did over here. Or you can just kind of put it in any kind of shape or form you want. Okay. Now, if you don't know how to do block letters, I can kind of show you really quick. So what I did with block letters is I kind of just write down the letters normally. So here's an A. Here's a B, here's a C. And then instead of doing rounded edges, like how it says over here for bubble lettering, you're gonna kind of make a block out of the letters when you outline them. So over here in the A, instead of doing a round edge in the bottom, I'm gonna create a block and then both feet. So all I gotta do now is connect them. See, the A now is blocky. And I can do the inside of that letter A. The B, make sure the points of the B are nice and sharp, nice and round, straight line in the middle, curved ends. And then the C, each end of the C has to have a block like that. And then I could just connect them. There we go. That's how you do block lettering. Now, if you're wondering how they added three dimensional form with the word read, or an artist I am is pretty simple. All they did was create a dot in the random part of their page. So over here, I put a dot randomly for this one as an example. Over here, you know what? I'll do it twice. So why don't I do it for the letter? Hmm. I'll do it for the letter A. So I'm gonna put a random dot right here. And then what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna take every single side or every single point of the A and bring it down to that dot. So here I go. 
Here's one line. Here's two lines, three lines, and four lines. And since the top of the A can't reach the dot, I can't do the top. But I can kind of do this little inside part. There we go. So all I did was make dotted lines going toward that dot, just like that. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to kind of create lines going towards that dot, but not all the way. All the same distance, just like this. OK? So we can do this tonight if we would like? Yeah, I don't see why not. Now, in order to close it off, I kind of like create a line, try to mimic that line above it. So if this line is straight and horizontal, I have to do the exact same thing with the one below it. So I'm going to create a horizontal line right there. And then it looks like this one is horizontal as well. So I'm going to copy that over here. But then in the inside of the A, it goes kind of vertical, kind of. So now I have to connect this one to this one. And this next part's a little bit harder because I can't see it, so I just got to go straight across. There we go. That's how you create bubble letters, and there's better examples uh, on your other side of the paper right there. Um, there's only two minutes left of class, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over my screen. And if you have something to share with us, art-related, uh, you guys can raise your hand. And I'll pick uh, maybe two people, and then I'll get everyone to share their artwork a little bit, okay? Or does anyone like to share their art? I'm going to pick Kira. Want to share us with what you got? Hurry up. <laughs> Kira? It's taped to the wall, so I have to get it. OK, make it quick. We'll, we'll, I'm going to pick someone else while you get yours, OK? All right, Luke, uh, Lucas, you want to share us with what you have? Uh, Charlie, go get yours, too. Who else has their hand raised? Um, uh, Chase, do you want to get artwork? My, oh, nice. my mom has mine. Oh, that's fine. My Friend, mom has mine, well. but I can still talk, but I can still tell you what it looks like. Okay. And what it is. Um, so, go ahead, one year ago, I sculpted a volcano for my brother. Okay. And. Oh, you showed me last week. I remember that. You showed me last week. Yeah, but not everyone was here. Okay, got it. All right. Well, that said, um, I am running out of time. It is one o'clock. I got to get going. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. 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 Bye.